Alright. Let's do this. <laughs> Welcome to Science Sun. Let's play episode one. Arc Survival Evolved. In episode one, we're just gonna be covering the basics. We actually tried this yesterday and it didn't turn out so well, so we're brand new to this. Oh look, there's our body. Nope, that's not our body. We welcome comments and criticism. We're just trying to have some father and son fun here. Uh, we like to play games together. We've been doing it for a couple years now. Uh, he watches all my friends play games, and we'll definitely be doing some streaming with them guys, too, because they're great guys. Lots of laughs. Uh, you want to introduce yourself? All right, yeah. I am Joe. Um, gaming name is Son of Psy. Um, Well, this video, we're going to be doing two, well, one basic thing right now, and then when we get later on, we're going to start our goals. Well, the basics right now is the main thing when you start, you want to um, start getting the rocks around you, the fiber, and you can punch trees, but you don't want to do it as much as you can help it. So, punch it as much because your health will go down. So, um... For those who don't know, most probably know, this game has hit over a million sales. This was maybe a few days ago, maybe a week ago, so now it's probably grown even more. This is Ark Survival Evolved. Uh, a survival game with dinosaurs. Wonderful. We played more than one survival games, me and, me and uh, Joe here. And, um, we have to say that this is the coolest. We've been across the zombie games and... and Zombie survival games and other survival games, but, but definitely the addition of dinosaurs makes it wonderful. Uh, you get to ride them, that, you know, which is fantastic. Uh, you have to get a little ways into the game before that happens, but trust me, it's worth it. So uh, we'll do some explaining here. You, you seen us a minute ago punching trees, and we're going to continue to do that because it's how you gather your basic resources. Again, most of the world's familiar with that through Minecraft. Yep, Minecraft, same thing. So punch your trees, get your thatch, get your woods, not much before you can build your first craftable item, the pickaxe, the stone pick. Um, I'll explain this UI here to you pretty quickly. Uh, you have two tabs here at the top, the inventory items and the craftables. This is obviously what you got in, in your inventory. Uh, it doesn't work like other games we played where you have a backpack and a certain number of slots. Instead, as you see here, the, every item has a, a weight. And, again, most people are already familiar with this mechanic. Once you hit about 80% of this weight, you become encumbered and you slow down. And, uh, obviously, once you go over that, you can't move. So, uh, this, is the, this is your stats. Health, stamina, oxygen, food, water, weight, melee damage, movement speed, fortitude, crafting speed, and torpor. As we level up, you'll also be able to add points into these, which will increase them increase the values a nice way to customize your own gameplay to whatever you want to do you want to swim in the underwater forever and oxygen is the way to go you want to run for a very long periods of time stamina is the way to go health obviously adds survivability and so on and so forth food and water something i generally don't touch weight to carry more things which is good crafting in this game is huge so uh uh, we have a few equipment slots. Maybe that might grow over time with the game. I don't know. Uh, hot bar slots. You can put items down in your hot bar slots, such as berries. And in game, you will see it at the bottom in the in the middle. And uh, you just hit that hot key, and we'll use that item. So let's go ahead and craft the item. We talked about the pickaxe. This is the essential first item everybody will be building. And we have one. Joe, you want to explain why we want this item? Mm -hmm. yeah. So we don't have to punch trees, right? <laughs> yeah. And you'll, you'll get more, um... And just like that, we leveled up. What do you get more of when you have a pickaxe and you you're hitting a tree? You get more of that, but sometimes you'll get wood like that. Um, but you'll mostly get, um, thatch. Thatch. Okay, so... With the pickaxe, you get another essential item to your next craftable weapon in game it's described as I like to call them tools and uh, we have to find a rock to be able to get that essential item which is flint flint will allow you to build your stone axe 
Who give us more? You should have chopped up that body. That's neat. That's kind of cruel for the first episode. Well, but we have a we have a level up, so let's cover this. Inhale. As we spoke about before, you increase your points. Uh, the very first points I like to add into health because how can you go wrong with more survivability? And after you use your points, you get another set of points called Ingram points. And what these are essentially are crafting recipes. You use these points to buy your crafting recipes. In the very beginning, you want to... I would like to get my stone hatchet and the spear. These things will keep you alive in the beginning, trust me. So let's set off to get that stone axe. Give me some points. And that spear. Raptor. That, what we're looking at right there, is a raptor. Very dangerous for the first couple of levels. Try to stay away from it. It will come to you. It will come to you from a long distance. It's already heading towards us, so we'll try to make our way away from it through the woods. Is that a mountain or a rock? It's a mountain. We won't be able to hit that. Um, aggro it to that. A lot of... Oh, there's a dilo there as well. A lot of, of carnivores will lose attention, aggro, so to speak, if they come across another animal that looks tasty to them. So that's just what we're doing now. We're mingling with the, the herbivores, the non-dangerous animals, like this triceratops here. As we search for a stone to beat up for flint. Now, we, we've spawned here many times before. This is, this is not the first time we played this game, so we, uh, we know this island pretty well. This is why we chose to to spawn here and uh, we're just gonna search for a rock uh, and this is a dangerous creature as well the Dilo he spits in your face like Jurassic Park you wanna just it's beat him up sense. try to avoid the spit there's another one somewhere oh and another one got us from behind okay so you're seeing why these animals are dangerous, even as small as they are. We already have health. Oh. Oh. Spit again. <laughs> Another death. Hmm. It's not going so well today. You said you never die by a Let's just respawn. If you die, you don't really lose anything but only... You only lose stuff in your inventory. It wasn't very much but a stone pig, so. And some berries. The things that make this game a little more difficult is it's been run for a while, and uh, as people start to build the nodes that you usually will and we are playing gather on these resources from, such as flint, disappear. So we're not really finding very many uh, stone nodes to hit for flint. On this wonderful server choice of ours today. We're down five thatch, so we still want to punch a tree to get that five thatch. Again, remember that when you punch a tree, it hurts you. So, you want to get just what you need and stop doing that. Well, like we said, once we get our basics down, we'll start working on our goals. What are our goals? Well, our goals today is try to get... Well, the thing is, when you do your crafting points, you have to craft the first thing to craft the second thing. Like, I mean, if you want to make a wooden house, you have to get the thatch house before you can get the wooden house. So we're gonna you're try talking about in the Ingrams, right? Yes. See, you now you beat these rocks up with this pickaxe, and you get flint. So, as you remember earlier, we learned the Ingram for the stone axe. I believe we need two flint for that. Okay. And we're short something. When it's red, you can tell you're short something. Okay. Mouse over it and it will tell you in the tooltip what you're missing. You're missing seven thatch. Luckily, you get more thatch with the pickaxe. We have it now. We'll craft that. Take the torch, too. The thing is, your XP bar will start slowing down once you level up more. As with every other game, most games everybody has played, works that way. So we'll hot bar our new tool. Um, hit the rock behind you. We need more flint. More flint? 
flint, so we can you get more flint with a pickaxe, more stone with an axe. We can make maybe we can make two spears if we get some more wood. Maybe, maybe three spears. Thing is, people aren't really that friendly. If we come across people, um, y'all can leave comments if y'all want us to like encounter people by being aggressive or just friendly. Fiber is the next essential material we'll need in our spear. Fiber you got you gather from these plants. And as you can see, we're getting berries as well. Uh, berries are good to keep you hydrated and, and to keep you uh, keep your food levels up. But uh, there's two berries you don't want to mess with from the start: the stem berries, which will add stamina to help you gain stamina, but will also drain your hydration and narco berries which are as the name suggests a narcotic berry that will you, add to your stat called torpor which when rose up too high you will pass out I very dangerous in this game to pass out we've already died once while we were awake you can imagine what will happen if we pass out okay so we're looking to make a spear correct joe yes and we can fantastic more fiber Definitely have a better chance of staying alive with one of these. Alright, now we have our three beginning tools. What do we want to do? Well, the thing is, I'll try to make at least two spears. Okay, so, so we if want to focus breaks, on getting another spear. More fiber. Um, Why the, do we want to do that? The thing is, because... Why do you feel like it might break? Because it happened to me a lot of times. It's random when these spears break, so it can break on the first hit, it can break on the second hit. Uh, your pickaxe and your stone axe and all your other tools and, and things in the game, such as armor, have a durability bar, but the spears are random. The thing is, y'all can't see it until we go in our inventory. The thing is, if you look down here, the green bar is our durability. Um, see, it doesn't have none. This is what he's talking about. The spear doesn't. It's a random chance. You read the tool tip has a chance to break when used. Right. We already have one of those. It's in our inventory. We have two now. I think Joe feels a little safer. If you right click and hold it down, you can when you let it go, it will throw it. We don't really want to do that right now because we only have two. Well, I would be staying on the beach so we don't die like we did die. The beach until we have at least some supplies, like level, at least until we get level 10. Very simple animal to get. But if they're mate boosted, the other one might attack you. Don't hit it with that. If you hit it with your pick, you get more meat. You hit it with your axe, you get more hide. There's a lot of dodos. A lot of dodos. Look, and the spear just broke. It's the the randomness. Ah, oh, and we hit level 3. Stamina. We should do that in stamina. Oh, yeah, we just lost that dodo under the house. <laughs> you can try dragging it. Oh, uh, here it goes. We leveled up. We might want to do it in stamina. That's my choice. If he, Stamina? Yeah, if my dad, he wants to do something, he could, if you would rather. Oh, we can go with stamina. You have a, a preference to show everybody for the Ingrams? All right, so we have ten... The basics, everything is three, but then once we get up, there'll be more. The highest thing right now we have is a water skin, and it's six, but we won't worry about that, because we're going to be by the water. Well, the thing always me, we might want right now, if we're going to get a lot of berries, which, which one? Want berries or meat? Uh, it doesn't matter to me. We can go any route you want to go with it. I believe you wanted to... Oh, yeah, we need to start getting the house down. Why would we do this? Why would we, we skip over armor and campfire... To get a house. You want to tell everybody that? Um, because if you rather have a base, once you have everything, because you can just eat berries, but armor might be a little bit more important, but once we have the house done, then we can start going up to the next step, and that would be wood, and then we can go up to another step, and that is stone, and then metal, and then that's it. What he's trying to explain is you level faster when, when you, you build. craft, so... If you're looking to level fast, then um, building a thatch base would be the way to go. And the thing is, but the thatch base is the bad because 